All right, my friends, uh, my friends, it's T and I'm back with another video. And guess who it is on? Our favorite steroid slave, Ryan Russo. Yes, he's making a comeback. I watched his channel for quite a few years, for a long time. And I figured I'd just review this video. And uh, yeah, I don't know. He's uh, He took lion's mane. It fucked him up for a while. Maybe it's neurological problems. I don't know. He had a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see what he says here. It says debating what my steroids uh, steroid cycle should be chemical castration bodybuilding comeback vlog part three yeah man all right so yeah as far as i know he had a neurological problem i did this thing before my old channel he had that uh, was it penis enlargement i don't know i guess it was successful and uh, he was also successful at destroying himself maybe neurologically taking lines man i <laughs> can't feel anything below the belt and weakness and he couldn't lift anything and a whole bunch of other problems so let's review this video man all right. I am pushing about the show. Like, I wish you guys could feel my CNS right now, but this isn't going to stop me, and I really hope you pull my fire into your life and do something this year. Yep, I still think he has some problems because it sounds like it. I don't know. Oh, is that my dogs? Okay, I don't want to see his dogs. Uh, I've seen He's come out, same with far along in recovery Eating. it's like i now get to like it's like a trauma process that i actually feel it and i'm working through it you know this is why i'm vlogging you know i wanted to document this for myself let alone you guys like to see my recovery of my persona each day i definitely want to switch from i was beyond beta russo with the chemical and physical castration like literally that was the lion's mane yep like you can't change my persona any more beta than that like micro dick brain damage to go along with the micro like there's that so i was like way over there beyond beta i'm gonna call it beyond beta because like <laughs> this is so funny it's not but it's just like the person adapted to the post-covid roles that's what I was using to fund my editor's salaries. So it's not really working right now. We only have two states. So if you're in Texas or Florida and would like to join Elevate, that money goes towards my editor's lives and they're the ones that save this channel. And I feel like a piece of shit boss for like, I mean, I'm a real dude. Like I crunch my numbers and it is what it is. I'm really, depressed angry that's why i'm getting on these daily vlogs is that i want to recover the income and have my team back again but i have to go to a dark place a day off like even like so i want to see his workout videos and see his posing i don't want to hear him talking man Okay, this is a cute new contraption, all right. You can tell he's hating, he's hate, he's hating doing this, man. Blowing heavy and everything. He can't stand it because he even complains and says, God, the, the knees, the legs, uh. <laughs> he hates it. It's a definition of a lifting slave, man. They can't stand what they're doing. Why are they doing what they're doing? Because he's doing it for the money. I don't even know if he's really taking steroids or not taking steroids or what he's doing. Maybe it's fake stuff. Maybe he's faking it. Who the hell knows? But he doesn't look like a guy in steroids, man. I just don't understand all this work that he's doing. Constantly working out. Whatever the hell he's doing here on this channel for years. And he's made no leeway. He's made no leeway. I only, I only ever work out if I know I'm going to build some muscle or get better in some way. And everything has to be prepared. Everything has to be, it has to be all 100% or I'm not going to do it. I'm not going there. I'm not wasting my time just because I have to do an exercise or I got to do my knees or something or wear myself out. No, thanks. Fire 
and stabilizers. Yeah, man, this this is a lifting slave. He fucking hates this shit. Let's see what else he has here. I don't know. It's just getting boring. He's going to be there for quite a while. He's going to have a chit chat, maybe. Hey, if you guys haven't hit the like button, I want to roll this momentum. Each one's going to get better. I am. We're hitting the like, bro. We're hitting the like. pushing. I'm about to show. Like, I wish you guys. He looks completely diminished because I told you what happened to him. He took lion's mane and it fucked him up. <clears throat> it's, it's some kind of neurological a fucking problem. Maybe I can't even describe it. It's really bad. I just could feel my CNS right now, but this isn't going to stop. That's why he's complaining. He says he can't feel his CNS. There you go. I mean, I really hope you pull my fire into your life and do something this year. Um, yeah, we're doing something every year, but it's not going to be that. Not destroying ourselves. Okay, so he's doing some arms. Okay, let's see this. So his back is really subpar, man. His arms, shoulders, and everything. For a guy that takes steroids, a cosmetic look, he's, he's not working. He must be fake. I don't know. He looks, really he looks very ordinary. His arms, they just, they look really bad for a guy who's on steroids, he should look like a steroid dude, but he doesn't. He looks worse than a natural guy. For his age, he's young. Jesus. He looks really lumpy there, too. Looks kind of lumpy. I just, I don't understand this, man. Like, I'm just critiquing this video, really. I'm not, there's not much here to say in the video. I just was looking at it, and I just figured, okay, I go over this. He really hates what he's doing. He was feeding his dogs in the beginning, and then, you know, he was just talking about certain things that were happening in his life, what he was doing. The penis stuff, this, that. Yeah, and now he's just, he's kind of getting back into it, because he had some problem with lying mean. It fucked him up. Yeah. As you know, Russo takes steroids. He's on some kind of crazy cycle right now, like it says there. Debating what my steroid cycle should be. I don't know if he's on a cycle. He's cycling. What the hell he's doing there? Chemical castration bodybuilding. Come back. Yeah, the chemical stuff. I guess that would be the lion's mean. I don't know. This is actually very sad watching him, man. It The, the movement should be rapid. Uh, they should be rapid, and they don't have to be full range. He's like going really slow and holding it. Now, I wouldn't say that was so bad going slowly on the, the eccentric. You could go fast on the concentric and really slow on the eccentric. You could do that. You could. If it was really heavy, I would do that. Like, honestly, I don't know what he's trying to like, honestly, I don't know what he's trying to accomplish by doing this. I'd have to ask him, what are you doing? Why are you doing what you're doing there? What is that for? Are you trying to open a window for protein synthesis? Are you breaking down proteins? Or oh, are you building a muscle? Is that it? Or oh, you're building a muscle? I don't know anything about no building muscles in gyms, but I don't know why he's doing this. Is, he's trying, is he trying to get maximal amount of muscle injuries to the muscle fibers? How many injuries does he want? Does he want it to be massive, a lot, more, this, that? I don't know exactly why he's doing what he's doing. Is he pumping glycogen? Is this, is this uh, sarcoplasmic hypertrophy training? Like, I don't really know what he's doing. So he doesn't say. Does he even know why he's doing what he's doing? Why he's going up and down so slow? Does he even know? Probably doesn't even know. It's crazy, isn't it? You know, some people in the gym have no clue what they're doing, why they're doing what they're doing, what's happening, what will be the result, what, are the, what is the outcome, what are you looking for? 
What are the feelings that you're you're trying to look for? What you're trying to get? Like they just they have no clue, man. Look at him. He looks like smooth and puffy. He looks regular. Look at his back. There's no lines, nothing on his body. It's just so weird. And he's on steroids. Like, where's the cosmetic look, bro? You look worse than a natural person. You look like you were like eating donuts or something and drinking coffee all day. I don't know. It looks it looks weird. It, it just looks weird. Look at his arms. Look. They look very sarcoplasmic-y. It's very smooth. There's no muscularity. It's very smooth. It looks like sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, man. It's there's no there's no there's no muscle there. It's just it's sarcoplasmic, bro. It's artificial muscle growth. This is crazy. Wow, this is just incredible, man. He's gonna he's gonna go at it again. Let's see this. If you're adapted, that's not gonna work. If you're adapted, bro. If your your muscles are adapted at this point, that's not gonna work. What he's doing here is not working. It's not enough weight. What he's doing here is it's not gonna work. There's no there's no there's no damage there. I think he's suffering man he just said he he wants to die a person that's coming into the gym and doing that and saying they want to die <laughs> did you hear him he said i want to die this is crazy man this is this is insane don't do don't do that <clears throat> but, you know, honestly, I, I feel sorry for, for ryan russo man just crazy The kid is suffering, man. Clearly is suffering. He is suffering. Clearly suffering, man. He is really suffering, man. Okay, so now we get a close-up of him. Look at him. No triceps, no biceps. There's no shoulders, chest, nothing. It just looks very ordinary. The arms, the, the more, the focal point of, of everything when it comes to bodybuilding, because he's a bodybuilding channel. He's a steroid bodybuilding channel. The whole point of the focal point is your arms. You should have built your arms first before you've ever considered doing anything. If anything, I used to do 200 repetitions for my arms. They were the first things I ever did in my entire life before I ever hit a gym were my arms because the arms are the most important and they'll, 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 they'll pull you all the way through. I never do my arms now. I do everything else but my arms. I do all the weak body parts first before I ever do my arms at the end and I never even do them. And so because I don't need to because they were already done a long time ago they're real so it just it's crazy man there's no there's no arms he should focus on the arms and forget about the rest and then maybe later the rest i don't know what he's doing wrong bro all right sorry man i got a bit cut off there anyway so let's go with this yeah he just looks very ordinary man i just i don't understand this what's going on with this guy this can't be uh this can't be steroids man he has no chest shoulders arms he has nothing he just looks very ordinary like he doesn't even work out his face is very bloated he looks sick man he's going through something again he, he's huffing and puffing like this is this is really bad man this could be a heart problem i don't i don't really know i never huff and puff like that ever when i work out this is crazy. He's a young guy. Maybe he's off the drugs right now. I can't really say. Low hormone. Something's going on, man. This is weird. Yeah, it looks like torture to him. I don't know what's going on, man. It looks like torture, bro. Is this crazy? Did he do some pull downs here? Let's see this. 
absolutely, absolutely like kid arms. He looks like he has child's arms or something. I don't know what's going on. Wow, this is terrible. He looks really tiny and it looks like a lot of sarcoplasmic, no muscle. He's never built any muscle. That's the problem because he's, he keeps taking these cosmetics called steroids and they don't build muscles. I think he's never really on a cycle long enough or he's not doing enough steroids or something really to create these phony muscles. Sometimes he creates them, he doesn't create them, he has something a little bit, this, that. I just, I don't see it. It's just, you know, to do this again and again forever, building like these fake muscles and then losing it, building it, losing it. You're not even really building it. You're just huffing and puffing. You're an endurance athlete. It's crazy. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. He's just like gasping for air, bro. This is, this is terrible. Oh my God. You know, I think he, like I said, he had a problem. He said with the CNS, the lion's mane, it's fucked up. Maybe he's got a neurological problem. That could be it. That could be it. It could be very, it could make it very difficult. I have, I have a neurological problem. It wasn't from lion's mane, but I have a neurological, I have neuro, I have neurological damage. Um, and it's, sometimes it could be exasperating for sure. Some people would even take painkillers for this. Like they would take painkillers that work out because they can't handle the pain of neurological damage in their body. If you have nerve damage, man, it is extremely painful. I can't even describe it to you. The pain is astronomical. You can't even sit down in a, sit down in a car, a bus, a taxi, anything. Any bump, something, slight movement bumps, this, that will make you crazy. There, it runs these burning sensations and chills and everything. The numbing effect in your hands, your body, you lo losing sensations everywhere. It's, it's just insane. So I guess I could sympathize with him. If this is what he's going through, maybe that is the problem. They could be that. looks okay but he just I don't know man it's just something it's just not right something there is is just not right for a guy in steroids man people on steroids they look fucking ripped this that they look fucking amazing this is I don't know this is very sarcoplasmic -y. you could tell recomping while gaining weight people think it's not possible but Recomping while gaining weight. That doesn't make sense. That steroids can do that. It's an anabolic steroid. You could take anabolics and then maybe add in some androgens. I don't know. Steroids? 100% is. You understood basal metabolic rate. It, yeah, that pose, it uh, looks okay. I mean, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. A lot of people do that pose. It just doesn't mean anything. I don't know. His face is really bloated. It's like he's trying so hard. Mm, he has no laughs. There's just, there's nothing. I don't see really anything there. I don't know, man. You guys tell me if you see something, because I just, I don't, I don't see it, man. I just, I don't see it. Nothing. There's no bicep there. Look how straight it is. It's completely straight, like flat. There's no, there's no tricep and the bicep is completely flat. The shoulder, there's no shoulders there. I, there's no back and the chest is, is kind of flatty. And he's got a belly here. The stomach is sticking out. But that could be bloatness. I don't know. Maybe he ate something because people are always eating these artificial diets, giving them bloat. So it looks like they have a belly. But I don't know. I can't say that. But yeah, I don't know. His face is bloated. Stole this shit from Jeremy Buendia. 
you stole that from Jeremy Buendia using a, a barbell, okay? You could use any weight to do that, and... I just don't get this. How to protect your house and family. This is supposed to be his rest day? What? Alright, this is for everyone who quit. Members who don't give a fuck. Oh, this whole tempo and tension control. I just don't get it, man, but okay. Let's see a little pose. He's gonna do a little pose here. That a boy Russo, that's it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at those lats and everything. It looks very smooth. No muscularity whatsoever. Uh, the biceps are completely flat. There's no tricep. I don't know. Those shoulders are just not there. And the, the lats, they're just... There's no definition here, man. I don't know what's going on. This is weird. If this is what steroids do, make you look worse, I don't want to take it, bro. If they make you look bad like that, <laughs> steroids make you look even worse, especially when you're off it. And if you're on it like him, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Looks terrible. He's like trying so hard here. It's, it's just coping, man. This guy's coping. I don't know. I'm gonna tell I'm tell you the truth, man. Watching him is is hurting me inside. Watching this guy, I feel really bad for him, man. Jesus. Alrighty, I just wanted to. Show that I trained arms. I shut off the camera to try and save the pump, and yeah, the pump is pretty much, pretty much gone. So this is 262 this morning. I'll step on a scale if you don't believe me, but I still have separation and shit. This is 262. Have you seen me at 260? Holy shit, man! In my black shirt with my black pants in my video. That's me at 260, bro. <laughs> and I don't look like that. I look way better. And I'm not on steroids. But yeah. the pump, it just depletes. My legs are sucked in. I'm going to do some boxing to try and... How could this be two, 262? This is, this is insane. This is 262. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. No way. Ignite that drive to tell my CNS to come back more, but this is what I'm dealing with every day. You know, by the end, like I'm hyper aggressive coming in, and I'm like beta at the end of the workout mentally. Like that's how depleted the fucking neurochemistry bullshit that's going on with me is, and it's a mind fuck. It's like my personality changes each fucking day. If I'm working out hard or not. Like yesterday, I trained back. I'd say pretty close to normal, just not the amount of volume, but hammer strength row. I did four plates each side for some nice slow and controlled ones. I couldn't do that a month ago, and that zapped me. And I came in the gym today completely zapped, but that's what's been happening over these past couple months. Like, I come in, my CNS is already zapped, but I need to trigger more recovery. Like, I have to keep putting my body in this environment for the recovery to keep going. But I can't overdo it, completely zap myself, and then not recover. It's like natural power lifters. They know everything about DOMS, delayed onset of muscle soreness. This is what I have to an extreme degree. 
and it's just a mind fuck because if you have that it's obviously it's obviously associated with ultra structural muscle injuries so you need to go and grow those muscles now it's called the repair and remodeling ever heard of it russo something new for you i guess because you're on steroids right you're a lifting slave a gym slave so you wouldn't know that you're a endurance slave endurance lifting adapted slave so when you do get it you're confused what is this this is mind fucking me i'm getting i'm getting ultra structural muscle injuries how I, I'm growing muscles. I'm actually growing some cells. Now, how do I get those cells bigger? Oh, protein synthesis exceeds this breakdown. Oh, you mean that's how it works in a natural world? I thought you just take a steroid and it builds a muscle. The DOMS isn't just impacting my muscles. I don't feel fatigued. I like mentally feel like a different person throughout the day. Like I wake up in the morning like, you know, aggressive, alpha, russo, vigor. By the end of the day, when I'm super depleted, I'm like, beta questioning my personality i just want to paint this recovery for everyone suffering this is like it's a yo-yo it's this vicious yo-yo that i have been battling each day and hopefully next coming months you see me train like a beast again i mean i don't really feel like i was training like a beast i'm just showing you each day we're showing the recovery we're showing the comeback the castration comeback and yeah, I'm pretty happy with the size that's on my body. I'm pretty happy. He looks like a guy that doesn't even lift. Look at him. He looks like a guy that doesn't lift, man. You understand me? He's on steroids. Look at his side profile. It's terrible. You know, this long ass fucking arm is very separated. My back's obliterated. Don't even look at it like it. Like I can like feel my spine, like my lumbars aren't popping and shit. But I just have this shitty chest insertion. I don't really like if I roll my like this is this is me really trying to pop my chest. So yeah, not the best chest insertion at all. But everything else is coming back. I really just you know pray for my legs, guys. I don't know, man. That looked, that looked, man, fuck. This guy's really going through a hard time. I don't know, man. That looked terrible. Anyways, tell me what you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. Comment down below. We'll see you in the next one, man. Ryan Russo Broski. Yes, it's uh, definitely debating what my steroid cycle should be. Chemical, castration, bodybuilding, comeback. Yes, bodybuilding, comeback, eh? Debating steroid cycle and bodybuilding, comeback. Wow, interesting. See you in the next one, friends. I gotta go, man. That was just crazy.